Hey beer lovers, today is March 15th, Constitution Day in Belarus. Happy Constitution Day! I was trying to fake it so I could eat. So beard lovers, did you hear the news? After 244 years, Encyclopedia Britannica is no longer printing their new editions. I wonder why that is. I'm gonna look it up. Actually, I looked this up on Wikipedia. Oh, Wikipedia. Bastion of knowledge. What did we do without you? Let's see. <laughs> My eyes hurt from looking at computer screens. I'm so sick of it. I wish they had Wikipedia in book form. You know, there's a business idea. Moving on. But the lesson here is the world is a changey, and where the wheezy goes, so goes world. Did I get that backwards? I can never remember if I'm wheezy or world. I guess there's really no difference. Moving on. I've noticed a growing trend over the past several time units of which I am very skeptical. Standing. Increasingly, human innovation has led to more and more of it. And I don't like it, Burrow bra. Look at the invention of the Segway. People must really want to stand if they're willing to look that ridiculous. I would never ride one. And then there's those new fandangled roller coasters that you stand on. People are willing to stand in line for an hour just so they can stand for two minutes. They took away the second best part of riding a roller coaster, sitting. The first best is vomiting, if you're so lucky, because then you make more room to eat more. I love eating even more than sitting. And eating and sitting at the same time? That's awesome, I wish I was doing that right now. Mm. And I am doing it right now, but yet I still wish it. That's how much I want to do it. Yet despite my brilliant logic, this war on sitting continues. All these bad headlines about sitting being bad for you. Hey hippies, what about Franklin Roosevelt? He sat all the time, like all the time. You know how when you repeat a cycle, it degrades over time? Sitting is a perfect cycle that actually improves something rarely found in nature. You sit on your butt fat, which provides a certain level of comfort, and then you proceed to eat, and you proceed to don't exercise, and you create more butt fat. More butt fat, more comfort. It's beautiful! And still, the standing train keeps rolling. Or standing still, or growing in popularity. Thanks to those activists R.E.M. with their stand campaign in the late 80s. Stand in the place And it doesn't help if you take a look at the word sit, and you add an H to a certain place, it becomes a really bad word. Sith. Holy shirt! Those Jedi are bad. Plus, our population is out of control. There's seven billion people in the world. There's only like 6.8 billion chairs. It's a real problem. Also, I can dunk a basketball real good without using my wizard powers. But sometimes when I'm tired, I try to use them anyway. Also, I pee in the shower, but not in swimming pools. That's gross. So I think it's time that I give in. Been fighting this too long. It's time to stand up. Here goes. I think the coffee's done. I love it when the coffee's done. I did put on pants and underwear today. Well, just pants. Did I put on a thong? So this is the way things will be from now on. And I'm also trying a new thing. If you want to make the thumbnail for this video, just draw a picture that represents this video posted on my Facebook fan page, linked in the doobly-doo, and I'll pick one and make it the thumbnail. All the specifics are in the doobly-doo. And you know what else is in there? Tour dates that my band Driftless Pony Club is going on in a week. These are the cities right here. So if you live near there, you should come check us out. Oh, I'm definitely wearing a thong. I didn't know I had a thong. I gotta stop dressing myself until I sober up.